Hello there everybody, my name is Coach Shower, Longest of All Bought Built for Theme Park News and welcome to a Coach Shower review. I'm doing a review because there's n there's no news out at the minute. There's literally nothing out at the minute. Um, there's a couple of construction updates that I'm sure we'll, uh, we'll bring to you when we've got more details. Um, some, things, uh, some things have gone down at Tripstra um, with a statement and stuff like that, so hopefully we'll get an instructional update out in the next couple of days from that. Uh, but this is a Coast Chair review from Kamali at Flamingo Land in Malton, North Yorkshire. Uh, now this is a Vacoma SLC, so I'll be sharing you all my thoughts on this ride. Now, before we get started, please like, comment, subscribe, click the notification bell so you never miss a YouTube video. Please share with your friends, family and on social media. And make sure you get your questions in for the 1,000 family subscriber Q&A. Use the hashtag question before or after your question. We are going to start asking on Instagram now as well. And for now, guys, let's get into this video. So, this is a review from Kamali. So, let's give you what we do at the start of every review. It's the statistics. Now, Kamali, like I said, it's a Vacoma SLC. It's the Shenlin model. Now, that is the same model uh, as a Happy Valley China Park SLC uh, called Snow Mountain Flying Dragon. Uh, so this is known as the Shenlin model. Uh, so statistically and specifically in terms of stats, uh, the length is 2,202.8 feet, a height of 117.8 feet, a drop of 111.8 feet, a speed of 54.9 miles per hour, four inversions, an 80 foot, 87 foot loop, a 75.2 foot tall cobra roll and a 55 foot zero G roll with a duration of just over a minute and a half and a G force of 4.7. Built by Vacoma and has a capacity of 1,125 riders per hour. Now, finally, I'm going to share with you some specific parts about the ride that I think are great. So, starting off with the station and the whole walk into the queue line for the ride. Now, I find this to be a great part of the experience overall. I feel like uh, there was some African music they used to play uh, years ago, uh, where it was like, Kumali. Uh, and I played that music, I'm playing it in this video now, actually, if you can hear it, listen. <laughs> um, but yeah, I do play it in videos quite a bit in the last year. Um, you know, it's a piece of music that I've always loved in the theme park industry and I think that Kamali's music has always been a great soundtrack. Um, the whole sort of rock work entrance, we know that's been sort of refurbished and redone over the last few years, uh, but the whole rock work facade is always a good outlook on the theming of Kamali. Um, I feel like the whole theming around Kamali, the African uh, sort of landscapes that are going with this, um, I think it's a great outlook on the ride and I think it's a great outlook on the coaster. Uh, I feel like it sets the scene for the savannah landscape, the African landscape. Um, and I feel like you are riding an African beast. I feel like you are riding a coaster giant. Um, now, one of my favourite elements on the layout, I have to say, it's got to be the Cobra Roll. That little sort of break midway through the Cobra Roll is my favourite bit of the entire ride because you sort of go through one bit of the Cobra Roll, a little bit of a break where there's like some platform underneath and then you get flipped straight round, especially if you're on the back row. You know, you've got a little stoppage break before you get... You, you, like, if you sat more at the front, you feel like you've got more of a stoppage break midway through the Cobra Roll. But when you do a back row, I did a couple of back rows when I went to Flamingo last time. Brilliant. Um, you sort of get flipped over that first half, and you don't really have time to catch your breath before you get flipped around the second half of the go row. It was just a brilliant experience overall. So that's one of my favourite bits of it. The vertical loop's good as well. The first drop, especially when you're in your back row, again, like the Cobra Roll, you get fling down the back row, uh, on the back row on that first drop. You get absolutely flung back like a catapult uh, when it flies forward and launches whatever's inside. It's just an absolutely brilliant experience. There's no real roughness. I have to say, compared to... Uh, the other SLC that I've done, Infusion at Blackpool Pleasure Beach, I think this is the best of the two SLCs. I feel like it's less, it's way less rough than Infusion. Um, if I was to pick out any negative of this, I would just say, just theme it up a bit more around the outside, like the Break Run, for example. It's like an empty field. 
maybe stick like a an African pole theming up or just some nice African or maybe like an animatronic or something um, I'd like to see a nice animatronic lion or an animatronic figure just to, just to provide that Africa theming bring that Kamali soundtrack back, back again if it you know I've not really heard it the last couple of years um, from what I've seen from other videos because the last time I went to Flamingland that was the first ever time that was 2016 and I heard the Kamali soundtrack and I want to see that back if it hasn't come back already. I want to see that back. Um, so I think maybe play that. Maybe enclose the break room. Um, maybe make that as an enclosed section of the ride. And sort of maybe make the station more enclosed. And incorporate it with the, the break room tunnel. Um, and do a nice Kamali soundtrack going inside. And decorate the tunnel inside. And There's a lot of real creative opportunities. Um, especially from England's new coaster this year when it opens, if it opens, which hopefully it does. Um, obviously everywhere's closed at the minute due to the coronavirus pandemic, but hopefully it does reopen uh, and hopefully we get this new coaster operating as well. So, uh, from England have got a lot of creative potential with Kamali in the future, but for now it is a good experience. So, thank you very much for watching this review of Kamali at Flamingo Resort, Yorkshire. Please like, comment, subscribe, and click the notification bell. See you next YouTube video. And for now, guys, my name is Coach Chell. Keep on the Coast Life, and I'll see you guys in the next video very, very soon. Take care, guys. Have an awesome day.